new technology that may revolutionize neck pain treatment. Our Dr. Bruce Hensel has the groundbreaking research. Very important, Colleen. Eight in ten of, Amer ten of us, eight out of every ten Americans, suffer neck or back pain at least once in their life. Surgery is rarely necessary, but when it is, this new, less invasive procedure may be your best bet. Chin up, all the way to the ceiling. All the way. What, what do you feel there? Pain. For a decade, Jackie Michaels has had a pain in her neck that shoots all the way down her left arm. With each passing year, the pain gets worse. I wake up that night from it, I wake up in the morning with it, um, and it follows me through my day. Jackie has a herniated disc in her neck, what some people call a slip disc. The shock absorbing cushion between two bones in her neck is deteriorating and pushing out onto adjacent nerves. You can see here how it's narrow compared to that one. Desperate for relief, Jackie turned to orthopedic surgeon Rick Delamarter. He's just beginning a trial of a revolutionary new artificial disc designed to replace a damaged disc in the neck. Jackie is one of the first two people in the U.S. to get it. The whole trend in uh, spine surgery is restoration of motion, getting away from fusion. A fusion has been the gold standard in disc surgery for years, but it requires two operations. The first to remove some bone from the hip. The second to take the bad disc out and put that hip bone in so the vertebrae fuse together. Recovery can take months. In comparison, the artificial disc it takes about an hour to perform. Um, we're doing them as an outpatient. They can go home the same afternoon and most uh, within seven to ten days are able to return to work. Pressure, pressure. At 9.29, Delamater begins. He first removes the damaged disc. That's the most time-consuming part of the procedure. A crowd of colleagues has come to watch this history-making operation. By 10 after 10, the disc is out. Delamater inserts a temporary spacer to determine the perfect fit for the artificial disc. That's the size. And this is the height. Then, with a few gentle taps, he secures the new disc in place. Perfect. Ah, oh, nice. Love it. By 1020, he's finished. And a short time later, Jackie is anxious to leave. Yeah, I do want to go. And already feeling the change. I'm lying here now, and I, I'm just realizing it doesn't seem to hurt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My neck is so much better. Just four days after surgery, Jackie is feeling and moving like her old self. Can you put your chin down slowly? Good. Look back up at the ceiling. The artificial disc provides a stark contrast to fusion, and for Jackie, an end to ten years of pain. It's a miracle to me. It's a miracle. Now remember, as I said before, only a small number of people end up needing surgery on their neck. Physical therapy and prescription drugs help the vast majority of people. Remember, the study on this artificial disc has just started. For more information, go to NBC4.tv, click on news links, and then on the keywords, neck pain technology.